To initialize a string variable, you just need to use the equal sign operator. You can use single or double quotes to create a string. Arrays can be initialized in various ways. You can assign values directly using square brackets. Use commas to separate columns and semicolons to separate rows. You can use the array operator colon to create a series of numbers. n equals 2 colon 5 will create an array of numbers from 2 to 5 with an increment of 1. o equals 10 colon minus 1.5 colon 5 will create an array of numbers starting at 10 with consecutive elements decreasing by 1.5. All elements will be greater than or equal to 5. You can use the linspace command to create an array of numbers linearly spaced going from min to max with n elements. p equals linspace 4, 9, 4 will create an array of 4 numbers linearly spaced between 4 and 9. You can use the matrix and the zeros functions to create an array filled with zeros. Use the ones function to create an array filled with ones. Arrays elements can be accessed using their index. Note the index starts at 1 and not 0. To create a structure array, use the struct command. Then you can add and access the structure arrays elements using the dot operator. Similarly, to create a cell array, use the cell command and specify the number of elements. The elements can be accessed using curly braces and the index of the element.